How you going guys? Quick update today. Uh, just been working on the front nose wheel. With this here, this is the old bender I made to make the fork uh, for the cruiser forks, front fork. So I'm going to bend that up today. So this is it's a quarter plate and it's going to be uh, laminated, so two layers. So basically, uh, this here is my bender and this one here, this wheel comes around. So uh, it uh, comes around and pushes against there and rolls it around this 60 mil radius. So with with this 6061 T6 uh, in thick plate, doesn't like a real sharp radius. So I need a large radius. So I need 60 60 mil diameter here. So uh, it'll give me a 30 mil radius. What I'm going to do is actually clamp it, clamp it with these clamps on the back side like that so it won't move, line it up where I want it, make sure it's completely square this way as well and I just pull it around until it's at the angle I want which is 90 degrees so pretty simple but just thought I'd uh, show you guys what I've actually, this was this was made oh, be two years ago now, maybe a year and a half, two years ago, and uh, I've kept it for future projects. So it's only made out of scrap steel. Now uh, this is 12 mil plate, 60 mil diameter um, solid bar. So it's really heavy, heavy duty. This is all plate here too. Um, it's all a bit rusty because it was actually like that when I built it. I bought all this um, steel just from the scrapyard and was sitting out in the weather um, because it's really, I only needed it for one bend, so I uh, wasn't gonna spend a fortune on making it, so. And I just uh, welded it all together, made sure it was, was all square. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The bolts are the, the hinges and it just pulls it around and bends a nice 30 mil radius on the plate. So we will uh, bend it up. I'll uh, keep the camera rolling so you can see how it all works. All right, so I've got them clamped in. I've lined up this line here, uh, which is half uh, the radius. So there's another line 30 mil in. Uh, which is would be the center of this pivot point and this one here is going to pull around and uh, bend to 90 degrees so we're, what i've done is i've clamped clamped it here this is just a um, sacrifice piece so that i don't damage it with these vice grips so i've just can't clamped it uh, to the actual bender so as i pull this around it's not actually going to uh, slip at all so it should pull all together so they will both uh, both bend around together so I've just taped uh, some aluminium just sacrifice pieces there too just so as I bend around uh, it's not going to damage the fork at all so should work fine <laughs> So it bends around really easy, but uh, my stops here, because there's so much force on it, um, I've had to put a heap of stops to make sure that uh, it's not going to move. I'm going to have to move my stop a bit further back because it's hitting on here. So I'll do that and I'll finish off the bend. It's not quite 90. Um, usually what I find with 
uh, 6061 because you're actually going to bend it um, uh, 10 degrees over usually to allow for spring back. So that means 10 degrees further um, and then it will spring back to about 90 degrees. So uh, that's what I'll do with this. It's uh, all bent up, the fork's bent, uh, so I'll, just, I'll get it out of the bender and uh, show you. Okay, that uh, curve is perfect all the way, that'll, uh, that'll be clamped in through there so there'll be no gap there. I'll also seal it all the way and uh, that there is the fork for uh, the wheel. So it's come up really good. And uh, now just shape it, clean it up, shape it, and uh, line up that axle hole, drill the hole, and uh, we'll start attaching it to that front nose gear. So that gives me two perfect forks, wheel forks, and uh, one that slips inside the other. Alright, so just marking out the bolt holes. When you're drilling holes in uh, the 6061 T6, a general rule of thumb is um, edge distances is about 1.5 uh, times the diameter. So if the diameter of the bolt is uh, say 16, 16 mil, uh, it'll be 24 mil to the center from the edge. So It'll be from this edge here, 24 mil up, uh, or close to one inch, you might as well say, uh, for a 5.8 bolt. So that's the minimum edge distance um, allowed. So, And that's to the, the center of the hole. So it doesn't matter if your hole comes out further and is closer to the edge, it's from the edge to the center of the hole is 1.5 times the diameter so uh, yeah just a general rule of thumb for those that don't know so um pieces for the front uh, landing gear now uh, all the welded sections and that so this is the front fork uh, with the uh, reinforced side and the, uh, the actual front bearing housing so that's that the front uh, nose strut nice heavy tube and uh, this here is the uh, slide that will actually slide along and pull the gear uh, pull that suspension pull the gear up and uh, just the axle the axle here is a chromoly axle tube uh, with uh, nuts welded on the end, some reinforced spaces. So that'll keep it all uh, where we need it to go. So I'll put it all together. Okay, so this is the castering uh, nose wheel uh, setup. I'm keeping it really simple. Uh, so this here is the uh, bearing with a stop ring there. And then another stop ring on the outside with a bolt to go through it. So, really simple. Um, it'll never wear out. 
the amount um, that it moves and the thickness of this material and uh, there'll be a grease nipple on the front here um, with a pump it full of grease and uh, just keep it full of grease and it won't yeah. wear that's that's it pretty simple the whole idea is to keep it as simple as possible okay so i have uh, got it all mounted it's um starting to look like a front nose gear now and uh i've got this here which is the castering nose wheel there got the suspension in here and uh, it's over center so that under compression it will actually uh, all the force goes back into this bracket here so um, and just to to pull it up it's as simple as this tube here just goes back and uh, up it goes just like that so I've got this here this is just the uh, the pivot point for it it's uh, will be all greased up just keep it simple so nothing will foul I've got a reinforcing bracket through here just to stop any uh, side movement just reinforces that axle section. This is it here. It's the castering nose wheel. Alright, so there's the fully up position of the gear. So you can see it's fully up. So just wanted to thank everyone for following along. The response I'm getting is absolutely awesome. Uh, keep commenting and feed, giving me feedback. I really enjoy uh, reading the feedback. If you want to follow along, it's uh, free to subscribe. So just uh, if you could hit that like, subscribe and ring that bell. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.